Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Sip the Talent Presents Draft Prospects. Uh, if this is your first time here, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, uh, comment in the comment section, and uh, I'll get back with you. Uh, draft season's here, the combine's a couple days away, a whole lot of energy in the NFL, and we're here with my number one guy from last week, my top nine, my top receiver from my top nine at nine, Hakeem Butler. I was amazed at what I saw. Um... I think he would be a fit for any team. But let's get into the bag and, and see what he did for Iowa State, the, who I'm um, calling the the Thanos of college football. I know somebody else said it was LeBron, but LeBron would be better than that. This is the Thanos for what he does. He's the bully of college football right now. So let's get into uh, Hakeem Butler. He's in the slot. Right here, right here. This is Butler. Focus your eyes here. He's gonna come off like he's blocking, cause he's a he's a great blocker. You'll see that later. Shuffle, shuffle like he's blocking, selling the play. Take off, wide open. Good job of selling the play because he's a good blocker. He, that's what enabled him to sell that and and kind of you know do the pump fake off of it. But uh. Look at the back view so you can see the length he shows when he tries to get into the end zone to finish the play. And we love people that finish drives. Love people that finish drives. Or finish plays, rather. That's him with the catch there. He's going to have to leap over this guy to get in the end zone. And got it. Along with that pylon move, throw it up. Play two. Him again right here in the slot at the top right there. Focus your eyes here. Blocking. Dominating the guy. Dominating the guy. Hey, that guy really didn't want much of a butler in, the, in this instance. Not really much. Let's see. Right, we got a better look right here. All right, here's the matchup right here. This is what you don't want to happen if you're a DB. Lock in. Ooh. Get bent back. This is what this look like some old line D line play right here. Look at that being right there. Don't do it like that. Yeah, nasty. But I love it. I love a physical uh, receiver. Love it. Impose your will on you. 6'6". Six, six. He's, uh, let's see, I think he's in the bottom slot right here. I think this is him right here in this play. Let's run and see. And they, for some strange reason, you vacate the guy that's 6'6". Six, six. And probably the best receiver on the team. And you just let him run down the the uh, seam free. Now, this is why I want, to call, I want to call him the Thanos of college football. Just watch this play. Get off me, little dude. And he's just lucky he had the cavalry there. But you're going to see a lot more of that initial guy get, basically get those six rings from Thanos in his face. Keep running. Come on. He's down here at the bottom of your screen right here. Focus right here at the bottom. Boop. Stick that foot in the ground. Now, got 6'6", six, six, 230, turning the jets on. Watch it increase. Look at that separation. Guy that big, I'm supposed to be able to run that fast. Except for Usain Bolt. Got route running on this, route running on this play and speed. Watch you stick his foot in the ground. See if I can stop it there. Boop. Without slowing down, change direction. That's key. He can change direction without slowing down. Had a nice catch from behind. It's off to the races. Now, it looks like, you know, he just caught a slant, you know, in stride and kept going. That's not the case. That ball was behind him. He was able to catch it and keep going. Here he is right here in the slot again. Faking like he running that post. Watch him just change directions again without slowing down. Sticking that foot in the ground. Bam. Just that subtle hip, hip turn has got, got the room he needed because this guy's sitting on this outside route. So now it's one-on-one -on -one with this safety. He runs right past him. Ball's on the throne. Look at that. Let me show you where this ball is. This is the DB. This is the ball behind the DB. 
He goes over his head and catches that. And then he turns back into Thanos. Get you some, little dude. Mm. Mm-mm. That one eight show look familiar. Show looks familiar. When he do stuff like that, we get the better view of the catch right here. And I could throw the broadcast view of this catch is awesome, but we don't do broadcast view on this channel. Look at that. Go up and get it. Now, you think with a guy jumping like this, you want him to catch the ball above his head, but the ball is so far behind him, he's basically jumping over this dude to get his arms over him to catch the ball. So his, don't don't try to uh, criticize his high-pointingness, but he's trying to get the ball by any means necessary, and he did a great job of getting it. Now, throw him out the way, and we're going to get this touchdown. How did I sleep on this kid? I do not know. I'm very much awoke now, though. Bottom of your screen. Good job of getting off. Doing the scramble drill. Nah. Touchdown is, is suspect on how he caught this ball. Look at that. Look at that. I know it's hard to see right here, but I'm going to give you a better view. That foot's on the ground. This foot's not on the ground, and he's possessing the ball. Length. Can't coach length. Bill Belichick can't coach that. Nick Saban can't coach length. Either you got it or you don't. See if we can stop it right when he has one foot down and one foot in the air and almost a full out, uh, not a split, but just a stretch. Look at that. This foot is on the ground. This foot is in the air. And he caught the ball, turned his back, has the awareness to turn his back to this guy so he can't knock it down. It's a lot to do in a matter of a split second. A lot to do in a matter of a split second. See how he catches it? Now he's going to turn his back to that guy. Get that foot down. And the other foot's in the air. Touch down. Point him at him. What you going to call right there? What you got? Touchdown. <laughs> I've been asked, how can people support my channel and help it grow? And after talking to other YouTubers, Patreon.com is the answer. Any amount donated will help build the channel. My goal is to get a telestrator and help explain the ins and outs of the game even more. So go on over to patreon.com backslash zip the tally to support the channel. And there will also be videos for subscribers only in the future. This is Coach Evans. And again, thanks everyone for the support. And head on over to patreon.com backslash zip to tally. So what you need out of a guy 6'6", six, six, better go get the ball and make some of your bad throws look, look good. Down in the slot right where well, not in the slot anymore. Down in the bottom of your screen. Good foot fight. Just dominate. Dominate that guy. I love it. I love it. Make it look like a route. Then just go to work. Go to work. Be physical. Be big. Don't be BFN. That stands big for nothing. There's a lot of BFNs in college football. And high school football, for a matter of fact. Watch this. Oh, that's why I put this on there. Watch this move from a guy that's 6'6". Watch it. He, he, this is one of those little agile moves. Boop. Ooh. Got 6'6". Six, six, I'm supposed to be able to move like that. You know what it looks like? Like somebody, it looks like, like, he, like you threw the ball to him in the post and he's uh, finna drop step you. Boop. Hit you with the jump hook. <laughs> but on the football field. If you don't know what the jump hook is, uh, check your basketball knowledge. That's a big catch too. And on the all 22, it's kind of hard to see. So we'll give you the back view so you can see a little better. But he basically just went up on two guys. He's in a slot. Focus your eyes here. Your eyes right here. Playing a little soft zone and the ball's thrown up. Still right here. We're right here. Almost intercepted, but he catches it. And now he's gonna get this get rid of this safety back here. Again, just bullying kids. Just bullying them. Two more broke tackles on the way to a touchdown. This guy tough to tackle, man. This guy is tough to tackle. Oh, my God. What, how did I sleep on this kid? Come on. See these broken tackles. Okay, should have been picked. It wasn't. So he had the concentration to stay with this ball after, after it's being thrown over the linebacker's head, head. So he catches it. Rips the ball from this guy. Rips it out of his hand. 
All right, number eight, wrap. Look at that form tackle. That's a great. He's in great tackling position. All he has to do now is drive his feet. Man, get yourself out of the way. Get out of the way. He just outruns one guy, breaks two more tackles, get in the end zone. Who can't use this dude on their team? Tell me, somebody that can't take this guy and put him on their team with any kind of system. And I'm just throw the fade and catch it all over your head and go on to the house. On his head, like one of my uh, coaching friends used to say, or uh, still does say, because that's what's about to happen right here. And this is against Oklahoma. Play action. Not bad coverage. Probably need to get his head around. Again, jumping up, getting those arms back on the other side of the DB to secure the ball. Got it. Coming down with it. Now, turn into the bully again. Lit dude's not going to tackle me. Then he has the speed to outrun cats. Somebody put this in my uh, comment section uh, when I went live Saturday that he's like a slower version of Randy Moss. I couldn't agree more. Baby Moss right here uh, making Moss-like catches, and he's going to do a lot of Mossing in the NFL. So instead of me calling him Thanos of college football, we're going to call him Baby Moss, and we're going to put that on the, the thumbnail. Baby Moss right here, Hakeem Butler, Iowa State, 6'6", 230, 22 yards per catch, best, re best receiver in the draft according to me. Again, it's Coach Evans. Uh, if you don't like my comment, if you don't like my description of Akeem Butler, you think Marquise Brown or A.J. Brown and them guys better than him, let's talk about it, debate it in the, in the um, comment section. And, again, no no knock on those guys because A.J. was my number one receiver until I saw and studied Akeem Butler, and Akeem Butler took that spot. But A.J. is a, a close two for me. I know everybody likes D.K. Metcalf. I see a bunch of mocks um, getting the, the Ravens getting D.K. Metcalf. I mean, you know, I like DK as an athlete. He has great potential, but that injury history scares the crap out of me. But, again, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And um, Hakeem Butler, baby. Uh, baby Moss.